How are you? David McLeod is the superintendent of Warner Unified School District. It's San Diego County's smallest K-12 school district serving about 200 students total. The district is surrounded by mountains in the northeastern part of the county. Cell phone reception can be spotty and internet access is limited. Well, maybe, yeah, you can right out there where the clouds are. Okay. You see that hill? So that broadcasts this whole valley. But if you're over and in any of these little ravines, you, you, you don't get a direct signal. And then there's cell towers, but they're like narrow along the highway. And if you're off the highway, you get no reception. While some districts are relying on online instruction, Warner Unified is going old school. Rudy Mercado is a sophomore at Warner High. It's mostly packets because out here, there's like barely any like internet connection, as you could say. And yeah, so mostly packets. Luckily, McLeod and his team started preparing early about four weeks before school started to close. Well, I don't want to sound like a crazy person, but um, being a science teacher, uh, I taught about the Spanish flu uh, and, uh, and when bird flu was happening and stuff. And when I was a teacher currently in the classroom, we, we used those as um, discussion points to lead off instruction. Uh, so I always follow that. Teachers had packets ready to go the day the county announced the school closures. On the other side of the county is the Jamul del Zura Elementary School District, which serves a sparsely populated community in eastern San Diego. Elizabeth Bystad is the superintendent. She said she's been flooded with calls in recent weeks from educational technology companies offering help with distance learning. And then it's a lot of fielding questions from parents and emails, and it's amazing how many emails are coming from vendors all over in order to try and support schools, which is wonderful. Um, but that's they're inundating at the same time. Hamul Dilzur students also went home with packets, but both districts are working to purchase hotspots, which would allow students in remote areas to get an internet connection. Our technology department is working with vendors trying to get some hotspots that we could check out to families who don't have internet. We have Chromebooks, we have enough Chromebooks. So it's really the issue of making sure that if we give them a Chromebook, they could actually use the Chromebook. Apart from academics, these districts are also trying to keep students fed while schools are closed. Hamul Dilzura has partnered with the Grossmont School District to distribute food. At Warner, about 85% of students are low income. Since schools closed last week, McLeod has been hand delivering meals to students who live in Lake Henshaw Resort, a trailer park about 10 minutes from the district office. But it's not just the students who need food in this community. So, it's just so many people from the community are like, hey, could you give us food too? So, are you able to buy for them? Or you... we, we do buy extra. So, and you know, like if we have extra milk, it's going to expire. So, we give that out. We have fruit that's going to go bad. So, I only brought a little bit because I only expected seven and what was there, 15 or 16 different families here. So I'm going to go back and see if I can come back and give them some fruit. So just tell them. McLeod has hoped this would last for just a few weeks, but now he's preparing for a much longer ordeal. Joe Hong, KPBS News.